right? So um, we pretty much, pretty much got a friend of a friend telling us there's a party going on, and that's all we know, really. But what is the philosophical underpinning of what we're doing? What's the intention? What's the mission? So yeah, we'll get to the party, we'll get to the music, but what if we have music that is oriented to what the actual reality of our world around us what if we have that type of music? Creative resistance. So it's not only about marijuana legalization, it's much bigger than that. What we're intending to do is creating a society, a collective, a mutual aid society in which people are respected as individuals, but they're not coerced to do as they are ordered. You see, the system that we're fighting is based on coercion, based on violence. So. I'm not to tell you here, vote harder and make sure your representatives hear about what you think. I'm here to tell you there's a wider world out there. It's called anarchy, meaning that there is no actual control over the physical reality. We just have this pretense in which we believe there is control. But outwardly, there is no control. Inside of ourselves, there's a lot of potential. And if we don't harvest that, if we don't really think, okay, what is my situation? Who am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? You don't have an identity. And we can spend another day here drinking beer and pretending everything's all right. Well, we can rock and roll at any time. So why can't we take a break, a pause, and really think about what is happening around us? So if we concretely question marijuana prohibition. What does it mean? It means that the government or people who work for government or believe in government can go knock into your door for any reason. Okay? That's the reality of the world here. If you smoke marijuana and have kids, what happens? Really, we all know. Well, the CPS gets involved and then they have the pretense of helping you. We're here to help you. See, that's the excuse of government. I like to tell you more about algorithm. Agorism is anarchy in action, meaning if you want freedom, you don't wait for the politicians, you do it now. How do you do that? Well, with your every action. If you really believe that the government is evil, and if you really believe that everything around you is a bad thing, then why don't you step and make a leap of faith and correct it within yourself? So the roots of evil, or whatever you think evil is, the malice in society, is in our own roots, it's in our own psyche. So we need to combat that. But who am I really to tell you these things? If you haven't heard of me, I'm Hector Cubillos. And there's much more to me than just this geeky guy telling you about philosophy. Why am I talking about philosophy in the middle of a drunken binge? Well, think about it. When you leave home, what's the impression you, you, you take? Well, it was much more than just drinking, wasn't it? See, the government wants to make you a small individual dependent on certain things. What I'm telling you is that you have creative potential and you're a free human being to do as you imagine. That's a lot of energy, a lot of power. We can't just dissuade that and say, well, you know, the TV told us this is just the way it is. Why are you listening to the television? My God, have you even heard about the commercials that Ambia will help you sleep? Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and sleep. But you guys, doesn't that give you chills? It gives me chills. If there's something out there telling me to go to sleep, forget about everything. I will have an issue with that. So what's the solution? Am I just pointing to problems? Am I just saying there's something evil out there? Oh, let's boo-hoo, put on our tinfoil hats and call it a day. No, what I'm telling you is within this moment, you have a realization that you're free and tomorrow you will be free. There's no one no one out there who can enslave you unless you choose them, unless you choose them as a master. That's the problem with society. We want a master. We want a hero from up the hills to tell us, hey, this is the problem, let's fight there. Be suspicious, because why? Why is it now that the government is adjusting to our desires and needs? Well, because popularly speaking, marijuana is the future. Marijuana legalization is the future. People want it, demand it, and they don't see a problem with that. See, the government's not going to let up and just be like, oh, you wanted this issue. Sure you did. They're a step ahead. So let's really remember that. Let's be skeptical and realistic. But remind, remember, we're something special. But the only way you can really be special is through action. So 
really that's about it and I really want to encourage you and enjoy yourself and think about what I'm talking about. I have some pamphlets out there about the philosophy of freedom. What does it mean to you? I'm part of the Laredo Freethinkers. We're going to have the next meeting on July 26th. What we do is we have productive rituals. We feed the homeless, we get together, we teach each other what really is going on. So while our meetings are happening, we're actually doing something. So if you really want to know what this is all about, come check us out on July 26th. And, you know, be free, like you already are. All right? Thank you very much for your attention. That's all I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna have weight of words. Weight of words. Are you in here, man? Are you in here? Weight of words. Weight of words. Weight of words. Weight of words. Right, walk in here. Okay, awesome.